Good morning, everyone. Welcome back uh, to the channel. This is Ken from MB Homestead. Um, winter has finally arrived here at the homestead, and I'll pan around and show you what's going on. But I got one project I want to get done today. I want to put some markers on my bigger snow blower. They're like upright markers, so you know where the edge of the snow blower is. Um, on uh, December 6th, 7th, around that area, uh, we got a foot of snow here uh, in New York State. I live out by Lake Erie, uh, so we got some lake effect snow that was, I don't want to say brutal, I've been through worse in my life so far, but this was significant. Um, well, show you what I'm talking about here. All right. There's there's the the snowblower. We're gonna put those things on, and here's all the snow we got. I guess we got a foot to 14 inches in about. I don't know, I want to say seven hours. It was coming down pretty good. I awoke, it was nice and nice and blustery outside. Solar panels are starting to heat up and get some snow off them. And of course, Mini and Bear, loving the snow. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, I have these markers and we're gonna get them attached right here uh, and then they're gonna give you the edges of the snowblower so you know where you are in relation to your driveway and your markers on your driveway so let's get that going we'll get some of our tools assembled and uh, go from there these are the markers right here um, you can see the holes So I have to drill four holes in the uh, snow blower and so they can mount up. I've already done this once. Uh, I practiced on my other snow blower, so I got the drill bit on there. Uh, we're gonna go out, measure all the holes, and then uh, it's a really scientific method to measuring them. I hold the thing up to the um, snow blower. I use a marker. I mark the holes and then we drill them. Okay, um, there's a little bit of an angle on this uh, piece here. I want to have that angled so it stays flat against the snow blower. So I'm just going to kind of hold it right there. Mark my holes. So I can see them really well. And then do it obviously do it on both sides. Um, I'm not really a stickler for being super, super exact that they look you know, perfect uh, and that as long as they're functional. So get the drill, be right back. All right. One of the one of the things my dad always taught me was um, center punch your holes on metal. That way the bit doesn't uh, walk all over the metal. So we're gonna center punch our holes here. Doesn't have to be a big hole. Doesn't have to be a big. Uh, just enough to so that the tip of the bit doesn't dance around the metal. It'll move all over if you're not careful. And then uh, get that going. You are drilling in the metal, you want to have a really good drill bit for this. 
I have some older bits from when my grandfather used to work at Bethlehem Steel. Um, these things go through anything. So we'll get this done. Okay, I got my tools, and let's uh, get this thing on there. Uh, yeah, it's a little cold out this morning, but I used to work with my dad when he was when I was a kid, doing uh, helping him with the cars and that. Um, he always worked barehanded, so. Um, I put the on like this um, so that you have less to catch on in the way of the chute. Okay. These are plastic lined nuts, they're lock nuts basically. And uh, designed to, once they're on, they stay on. Again, they don't have to be tightened super tight. Again, the lock nut will do the job. Okay. All right, go on to the last one. Okay, I'll get you zoomed in on this one. Zoom in and we'll see how this uh, kind of goes. Um, I think the temperature is probably 20, 20 some degrees. Feels a little colder than that, but you know, not a, not a super cold, you know, super bad day. Sun's just starting to come up. It's uh, about five to nine in the morning on December 9th. When you're watching this, it'll hopefully be done December 9th also. So, my goal is to go back to making the video the same day I produce it, hopefully.
again, you don't have to refine these to get them tightened. And these bolts that they're using, uh, you know, they're kind of golden color. These are the hardest you can get for projects. Okay, so let's uh, show you everything that's done now. Okay, so got it bolted on, as you can see, and hanging them both up there. Okay, so when I'm in the tractor and I'm looking out, I can see where the edge of the snowblower is if it's covered up with snow or whatever. So. That's about it. Okay. Well, that's about it. That project's done. It doesn't take long, but it got it done. And let me flip you around and I'll show you what we get to look at every morning for sunrise and that. So the sun is coming up. You can see the, all the snow. All in the trees. Kind of makes it look nice. So. All right, well, I appreciate your time watching the videos. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you haven't yet, hit, the, hit that subscribe button down in the lower right corner. Um, hit the bell next to it so you get notified of all new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.